Hello everybody and welcome to Reading Thursdays with our wonderful little doggies. As usual, they're dressed up and their little set is set up to represent the book we're going to read. Flora's Very Windy Day by Jean Birdsall, illustrated by Matt Fellin. Um, Luna is already falling asleep and is snoring. Do you guys sleep through getting read too? Because she's so excited she just relaxed. Okay. She stopped snoring when I tried to get it snoring. Okay. Here we go. Mommy, Crispin spilled my paints again, treat Flora. I told you to keep your paints out of his reach, said her mother. I tried, said Flora, but oh, look at this mess outside Flora right now. I can't go outside, protested Flora. The wind is very strong. It will blow me away. Nonsense, said her mother. Flora thought for a moment. Of course, I could wear my super special heavy-duty red boots. They'll keep me from being blown away. Fine, said her mother, and take Crispin with you. Now, Crispin did not have super special heavy-duty red boots to protect him from the wind. His boots were purple and couldn't do anything but keep his feet dry. Oh, well, Flora thought. His boots were purple. Oops. Oh, well, Flora mm -hmm. thought. It wouldn't be her fault if Crispin blew away. So Flora put on her coat and hat and her super special heavy duty red boots. And her mother put Crispin into his little coat and hat and regular old purple boots. And when all that was done, Flora's mother opened the door and Flora and Crispin stepped outside. What kind of adventure do you guys think is gonna happen? The wind was indeed very strong that day. It pushed and pulled and twirled and twisted. And no matter how hard it blew, Flora stayed firmly on the ground. Ha ha, you dumb wind, said Flora. You can't lift me up because I'm wearing my super special heavy duty red boots. The wind did not being la laughed at. It doubled its strength and blasted mightily at Flora. But still she didn't budge. However, said Flora, you may notice that my little brother is wearing regular old purple boots. Oh no, what's going to happen? Look at us. We're wearing our yellow boots. But I think Luna's might be sturdy and Kevin's might not be. I guess we'll find out. Mischief decided this book is putting him to sleep and he's not looking anymore. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now the wind tripled in its strength. It swirled and whooped and whizzed and walloped and then, oh my, Crispin was being lifted off the ground. Just a little bit at first. But the wind grew stronger and Crispin went higher and then higher and then higher still. He was being blown away. He looked very frightened. Oh no. Have you ever been in a wind that strong? Oh, look at this picture. What happens? Let's find out from the words, right? And suddenly, Flora was kicking off her super special heavy-duty red boots and spreading her coat to the wind. And oh my, oh my, she was sailing up toward Crispin. There's her boots. Oh, and look, there she is trying to help Crispin. She grabbed his hand and closed her eyes and wished she were anywhere else in the world. Oh, look at Kevin. Kevin doesn't have her boots on anymore either. She must be going to get Luna flying away. Is that what's happening, guys? Oh, I think so. Mischief. <laughs> 
loving reading time <laughs> but soon flora realized that being blown by the wind was comfortable like riding along on a squishy flying chair she decided to open her eyes just then they came upon a dragonfly will you give me that little boy asked the dragonfly he could polish my wings Silly dragonfly, scolded Flora. She knew that Crispin was too clumsy to clean such delicate wings. He's my brother, and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the dragonfly. Oh, Kevin decided she's going to be somewhere else, and so you can see her super cute socks that are just like Flora's. Oh, Kevin, what a good girl. Oh, good job. Everyone's tucked in. Oh, look at this rainbow. Wow. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a rainbow. Will you give me that little boy? Asked the rainbow. He could guard my pot of gold. Gold, that was tempting. But, thought Flora, Crispin's not fierce enough to guard anything. No, he's my brother and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the rainbow. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a cloud. Oh crap. I'm gonna have to fix this anyway. Oh, you guys are so cute. Um Oh my goodness, look. Misha found the rainbow. That's maybe why he's been backwards this whole time. He just knew there would be a rainbow. Look at that one. They're really flying, aren't they? Kevin's smiling. Kevin, this makes you happy? You love story time the most? <laughs> You're happy. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon a cloud. Will you give me that little boy? Asked the cloud. He could squeeze out my raindrops. Flora thought that squeezing out raindrops sounded like fun, but Crispin would surely catch a cold, and then who would help him with his nose? No, I won't give him to you. He's my brother, and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the cloud. Do you guys think the wind is going to let her? Wow, look at this one, guys. You know, it's a full moon today, actually. Read together. Flora and Crispin flew on and on until they came upon the man in the moon. Will you give me that little boy? Asked the man in the moon. It's lonely up here and he could keep me company. The man in the moon had a kind face and he did look awfully lonely. But there were no chocolate chip cookies on the moon. And Crispin was so fond of chocolate chip cookies. I'm sorry, but I can't, said Flora. He's my brother, and I'm taking him home. If the wind lets you, said the man in the moon. Flora stomped her foot, or would have if there'd been anything to stomp on. I'm tired of hearing that. Why won't the wind let us go home? You should ask him, answered the man in the moon. Flora hadn't thought of that. Oh, wind, will you let us go home? I'll let you go home as soon as we find the right spot for Crispin, replied the wind. You do want to get rid of him, right? Yes, I mean, I did. I mean, Flora wasn't sure what she meant. 
Because I could even use it myself, said the wind. You know, to work my bellows. Oh, um, I think Mischief is sad about maybe Crispin getting sent somewhere. Are you sad, Mischief? You don't want it to happen? Hmm, it does seem pretty sad. Do you think she should let the wind take Crispin, Kevin? You don't know? Let's find out what happens. No, thank you, Flora said, finally decided. Oh, no. Flora had finally decided. I should take him home. My mother wouldn't like it if I lost him. If that's what you really want, said the wind. Yes, please, said Flora. The wind is sure pretty. So the wind turned Flora and Crispin around and blew them home. Flora put her super special heavy duty red boots back on, then straightened Crispin's hat and brushed a shred of rainbow from his coat. <laughs> she rang the doorbell and her mother opened the door. I decided to bring Crispin back, Flora told her. From where? asked her mother. From the moon, said Flora. Nonsense, said her mother. Now come inside. I've made chocolate chip cookies. The end. Oh man, what do you guys think? Did you like that super windy story? Mischief came back to us after he found the rainbow. He turned back around. Let's ask the dogs. Break, Kevin. Come here. Kevin, good girl. Okay. What do you think, Kevin? Can you give me a high five with your crazy sock? Let's see. High five. You loved it and you lost your sock at the same time. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Yeah. Oh, Kevin, you're so cute with your hat you don't even like to have on. Huh. Do you guys like Kevin's hat? Oh, man. What do you think? Luna, you slept through the whole story. You loved it. Were you flying on the wind of the world? Yeah. Mischief, you're such a good boy in your hat. He wears this sweater and sits in the library a lot. So we call him the librarian. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us for Reading Thursdays. Hope to see you next week.